we're looking at is King Charles II, right, England. And this is um, his coronation photo, right, which marks the beginning of his reign. And in the monarchy, the son becomes the king once the king dies or abdicates. Well, in this particular case, he's Charles II because Charles I was beheaded. Um, he was beheaded by nobles, um, decapitated over political disagreements, right? Um, nobles had issues with the way he had choose to run his monarchy and decided that they wanted power and to get a hold of that power, grasp this power. This is 1660. They decided at that time, we're just going to cut his head off, right? And they cut his head off and England at that point falls under a dude who called himself the great protector or something. He wasn't a minor, right? He wasn't king. He wasn't of a royal blood, right? So the mere fact that they had committed this act, everybody that was involved in this act of killing this king, of cutting off the head of King Charles I, in the eyes of this man, once he became king, he wanted revenge upon all of them. So 11 years, only 11 years had gone before he was installed to the throne. They, they got rid of this other cat who called himself the great protector. He was the instigator of, you know, which led to the beheading. Then he tried to take power to, for himself, but he died. And he, in, 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 a, in a way, in a type of minarchy, wanted to pass power on to his son. And the people was like, hell no, you're, you're, we're not going to let you, you know, kill our king and then act as a king by passing on with this gross nepotism the the authority of a king emperor to your son so the people went after him brought him to london he was installed as king and that's when revenge started he killed he killed every register that signed off on the beheading of his daddy not only did he kill every last one of them, right? The dude who instigated it, the one who called himself the great protector, he had his body dug up. Listen to me. He dug up his body, his corpse, put it on trial for treason and hung him again. He hung a skeleton, a, a decayed body. He hung it again. And the point that I'm, I want you to get from this is to, to African-Americans or anybody who has gone through something, you don't ever allow someone to tell you when you should get over an atrocity that happened to you. They don't. This is not how they operate. OK, this is not how Europeans operate. You. Do them something one time. I don't give a shit if it's 40 years. That debt will be paid. The, oh, don't you ever get into the business of, of believing that Europeans don't, they don't like retribution. Or they don't like reparations. Because you can go all throughout British history and find examples where some form of reparation was paid. It's only when you get to African Americans that you hear bullshit like, well, how are you going to put this burden on the current generation? We had nothing to do with none of that. But, but, but listen to me, guys. This is not how they operate. This is not that this is they're not wired that way. They're not cut that way. When something is due to them. One thing, one thing that I will respect about white people is that they will follow a process all the way through. You ever see, you ever see when they get into litigation, they don't give a shit if it's 30 years. Huh? They're going to pursue that case all the way through. Did Ron Goldman ever stop chasing after OJ? Did he, did, 
did he ever leave OJ the fuck alone ever? Did he? No. He they chased OJ ass down until his black ass died. That that debt had to be paid. We're the only race of people that allow others to intimidate us out of our hardship or our grievances. Or if we have been made a victim, we have allowed white people to make us feel ashamed about being a victim. You motherfuckers victimized us. And you also get to determine when we can no longer be a victim. No, people. No, this shit don't work like that. It don't go like that. That's why me personally, I'm not speaking for anybody else when I say this. I told God directly, just leave me out of the heaven shit, man. Whatever, whatever you have planned and set up with that, leave me out of it. Just, just leave me in New Orleans. I'm perfectly fine. I could be a ghost trapped in one of these, these, these clubs on Bourbon Street. I don't have to go to your heaven because I want revenge. I want retaliation. I want retribution. I want reparations. I want reparations on people who are dead. I want the motherfuckers dug up from the ground and tried again. Why? Because their crimes, what they did was so fucking horrendous, was so heinous. That debt alone is not justice. I want the motherfuckers dug up and hung. That's why I told God, leave me out of it. Because if I get to heaven and see a slave master in heaven, I'm, I'm going to deal with him and curse you out second. So to keep all of us from falling out, I'm talking to God here. Leave me the fuck alone. It's obviously you didn't give a fuck enough about us. To stop this shit. So being that you are the God of white folk. Leave me the fuck alone. You don't leave us in suffering. You don't leave us at the mercy of these satanic ass people for 400 fucking years. And then talk about, oh, we just going to, we just going to believe in God. We just going to believe in Lord. We just going to do all of this shit. And see, this is, the, this is the thing that really pisses me off right here. You see this right here? This is an enslaved. This is your grand, great, great grandmother right here. This is two generations removed. Sitting there still believing in a Bible. Got a Bible in her lap. She, they died believing. They never got no justice. A Jew tried to bring up to me that they were in slavery. I said, you, oh, you referring to Egypt? He said, yeah. I said, y'all left out of Egypt with generational wealth. You didn't, you didn't read the scripture when they said y'all were allowed to take everything that the Pharaoh Y'all left out of there with things. Y'all left out of there with shit. We left, we left with the clothes on our backs if we were if we were fortunate enough to leave. And you think we're just gonna walk this shit off? When y'all gonna get over the slavery shit? See, whenever somebody says that, the mentality that put us in slavery is still present. So as long as they have people that feel that way, you should feel this way. Wanting revenge, wanting retribution, wanting justice, wanting reparations, wanting a motherfucker dug up and put on trial. I want the corpse of Jeff Davis dug up out the motherfucking ground and put on trial again. Only then will I, I leave the shit alone. At this point, no one has been held accountable. Well, we fought a war. You didn't fight a war for me, motherfucker. You mean it took you 265 years to realize that raping a 10-year-old girl was wrong? It took you 260 years to realize that chopping off a man's foot and still requiring him to work in the field is wrong? It took you 260 years to realize that taking a baby from a mama from, a, from its mother and selling it is fucking wrong, you evil motherfuckers. So, the slavery shit will continue until I get revenge. This is, in fact, 
my revenge.